On the wrong end of a score line here at Windus, it's been a, a tough day at the office, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's really disappointing. You know, we've come with a game plan, and uh, we haven't executed it at all. Um, you know, we know we're a better team than that. They are a strong opposition, but I think we could have had a we could have handled them a lot better. And yeah, we're all disappointed. Obviously, the start wasn't great, and we put ourselves in a in a real tough you know in a, in a tough game. Within that, you know, with that first 20 minutes, we we performed, and then. We sort of clawed his way back into the game, you know, the scoreline didn't reflect that really, but we got, you know, we got sort of in the game and then, um, you know, just, I don't know, his attitude in some places, it, it's not good enough and maybe against um, championship teams can get away with it, but when you come to Super League teams who are full-time, you just, you know, you're going to be on that back foot and it's um, obviously show today. John Duffy's often talked about how important it is to get a good start to the game. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case and you were always on the back foot from those first few minutes. Yeah, um, just from off, we're always on back foot, like you say. Yeah, we did talk about half time, talk about boys' attitudes and stuff like that. Um, and then the second half, we did come out and we started well for the first 10 minutes and then we sunk back into it again. So, pretty disappointing. We've started well in every game we've played in these qualifiers and we didn't then. We got rolled and it's hard to come back, like you said. You know, they're a good opposition and they, they, they exploited the space real well. And when they get a roll on like that, it's really hard to uh, get yourself back in the game. Half time, there were probably a, a few home truths in that dressing room, weren't there, with John Duffy? But the team did come out and responded with that Lockwood chai, the Forcer repeat set uh, with the dropout. So things were looking good at that stage. Yeah, obviously, in, um, in, in, in times in the game, we did show what we can do and you know what we've done over the season. And um, obviously, it's just it's a lack of execution sometimes with the ball or. A stupid penalty or a missed tackle, you know, it's um, it's like I said, it's stuff you can't get away with against against quality opposition. And we come into this game really confident, you know, we've watched a video this week and we took some positives out of the London game and we were confident coming in and that's what's more disappointing, you know, we did we did sort of fancy ourselves, you know, to actually give a game to witness and, you know, we just didn't perform today, which is disappointing. We spoke about attitude more than anything, which is something really shouldn't be um, questionable as a rugby league player, whether you've got the attitude to win or not, so we came out firing. Like you said, got a few early tries, but then it was the same old story kind of thing, errors, bad kick, something like that, and then it just led to them getting a roll on again. And you know, it's, it's hard to take it, but we've probably been a bit, little bit outclassed today, and we shouldn't really have been. We did create the space, but like I said, just that final execution. If we'd have got that pass away, we'd have, we'd have made a break. But it was just like it was one of them things when the ball would go to ground or they'd get an interception and end up scoring again and then we're just like digging us in a deeper hole. A couple of weeks off now, we, certainly next weekend off uh, for the Challenge Cup final and uh, time to recuperate and recover because it is a fairly small squad and uh, I know there's a few injured bodies out there so it's probably quite a welcome break for the team. It is, yeah. Obviously we've had a, had a tough three weeks and um, you know, I, I think the week off will, 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 will do us good. And, um, but like I said, we've got to stick together. Um, we've got to come in this week, and we've got to train hard, and we've got to try and put a few a few wrongs right, you know. And um, like I said, what we dished up today is just not good enough. We've got high standards here at Fev, and um, even though you know we probably wasn't expected to win, you know, we have thought we'd have been in the game, you know, till the closing stages, and it just wasn't to be today. And like you said, it's not good enough. You know, we've got to try and make that a little bit like a fortress with the uh, home games that we have got. You know, there's very few games we have there, and. Um, you know, okay, are in form, like you said, but you know we are a good side, and today has definitely hasn't shown what we're capable of. So we've got two weeks, like you said, train hard, prepare ourselves, and hopefully we can get a good result for all the fans. It's going to be a different situation though, because it is against fellow Championship opposition in Hull Kingston Rovers. You know that uh, you've already done well against them uh, twice this season, and it is on uh, own ground as well in front of your home team, uh, hometown te uh, fans. Yeah, yeah. 
remember, you know, um, the last time we played them at home and, you know, we drew and um, we were quite disappointed with that draw. We thought we deserved more out of that game. And But looking at Lucky, the last few weeks, they have been going well. You know, obviously they beat Lee last week. I'm not sure how they've gotten today, but um, yeah, they're playing well. So it's going to be another tough task. They've got a, they've got another good team there. And um, like I say, if we dish up what we did today, it's going to be another long day at the office. But if we come and do what we can do, and we know we can do, and I'll turn up, you know, um, hopefully we give ourselves a good shot. Thank you.